I've recently been covering as many of the weapon mods in Remnant 2 as I can. These consist of the ones that are not tied to a weapon and can be slotted in pretty much any build. I think it's cool to learn a little bit more about what each mod brings to the table and how you can use them to their fullest potential. These five here are extremely fun, probably some of the most interesting ones I've found. Here's why you should start using them. Starting off with one of my favorites, we have Energy Wall. This is basically a Titan ability from Destiny. You get a semi-curved wall shield that blocks all projectiles. It lasts a very long time or until it gets destroyed. Let me tell you, this is an extremely powerful support mod. No, it doesn't provide any damage to you or your team, but it does trivialize certain parts of boss fights. Any that have phases of pure projectiles, you can get a free damage phase. Plop the shield down and start shooting. Now, I noticed that stuff can sometimes fly over the top if you're too far back or if the boss is higher up. So crouch down instead and become untouchable. When you pair this mod with Archon, you can use it almost infinitely. It comes back so quick, you have it whenever you need the extra protection. Also, seeing as Nerud is very annoying on harder difficulties with how many enemies spawn in, this can be a lifesaver. Avoid a thousand projectiles from every direction and focus the bots down one by one. Also, it's just a lot of fun to use. Trying to protect teammates by giving them more cover or discovering easier ways to take on bosses. Deploy the engineer turret right behind and you're playing tower defense in Remnant 2. Also, with only 500 mod requirement, this is such a useful utility based mod. I think it'd be pretty cool to have a full group running this and create like an impenetrable perimeter anywhere you like. The familiar mod is very valuable to summoner builds. This is a creepy looking mod that summons a crow to fly above your shoulder. When within range of an enemy, the crow will swoop in and attack the foe relentlessly. With Archon and some extra damage rings on the crow, it still doesn't deal amazing damage, which is kind of unfortunate. But he will usually kill lower tier enemies and keep them occupied so you can fight other combatants. What's really interesting is this mod counts as a summons, which means the rings that provide buffs when you have one active get activated by this. And with Archon or some other trinkets, you can spam the crow, spawning up to three or four at a time. Specifically, Soul Guard grants Bulwark or extra damage reduction per summon. If you're running Summoner, you can easily stack five stacks of Bulwark in seconds, helping you stay alive longer if you mess up more often. Or use something like Soul Link to lifesteal health from any summon's damage. Even so, you may be thinking, okay, well, there are other mods better at this. Bargazer also counts as a summons and does considerable damage over time. The advantage of Familiar is that it has top-notch crowd control. Without spawning a self-damaging tornado or anything like that, you have all these crows that instantly remove smaller enemies from the battle. I noticed in boss fights I never ever needed to worry about adds, as they were dead when they spawned in. It could also be a fun idea to try and deal damage with only summons. Pair up Archon for mod damage, run Summoner for the two flyers, and then spam Familiar and Space Crabs. Bombarding bosses with so many summons at one time that you never really need to even shoot your gun. Also, the familiar mod seems to have really good range, letting the crow latch onto enemies without you getting too close. Now for probably the single best weapon mod in Remnant 2. Song of a Fear is the single most versatile and powerful mod you're going to get. Why? Well, it does a lot of things all at once. Shooting this will create a massive dome. With the extra AoE trait, this covers an entire arena easily. Anything inside the dome will be slowed. Slow is extremely powerful as a status as mobs of enemies or smaller adds in boss fights become completely useless. They can't really do anything at all, and this lasts so long that they'll be dead before the slow wears off. Additionally, this mod makes enemies deal 15% less damage. Useful for any build, but very useful on tank builds as this bypasses the DR cap. Instead of providing you with more defense, it reduces the attack's damage. It can fix a lot of issues you're having when trying to tank hits, and since bosses don't slow that much, Song of Fear still provides great support there. On shooting the mod, it actually does a significant amount of stagger, so it's the perfect all-around mod. Not excelling in the damage department, but keeping you safe. For some reason, this also counts as a blast attack, so the amulet that grants you more damage and burning to explosions can indeed be used to make this even better. Pair it with the Ring of Malevolence and you can infinitely slow everything in the game. Song of a Fear also has the ability to destroy every single orb in the last boss fight. Those ones that only die to Enigma otherwise and literally kill you instantly. Yeah, shoot this in the middle and all of the orbs explode. Great for when you're running a non-Enigma weapon for a build, but hate the orbs. 
One unfortunate aspect of this mod is it's extremely annoying. Basically, the devs said, you know how Song of a Fear has no downside at all uh, and is extremely good? What if it also made the most annoying sound ever? Sadly, it will ping this very long, obnoxious ringing over and over. If you're far from the ping, it isn't bad, but man, does it get annoying fast. Regardless, it is probably the best mod overall in the game when you consider how it improves combat and will be a great asset for several challenging boss fights. Looking at you, hatchery bug. Blood Draw is another weapon mod that is extremely cool and powerful. It's essentially the get over here ability Scorpion has in Mortal Kombat. You'll need to be more in close range combat for this item to work, but it puts out amazing damage and applies a massive application of bleed. The odd thing is it only has 450 mod requirement, so getting it to regen only takes seconds. I actually managed to beat the final boss with this mod as it's that strong. Now, without Archon's trait for better mod speed, it's completely useless. You'll get hit every single time, as it might have the longest casting time for any mod. But with the trait, you're all good. Even up close, you can get this to chunk boss health over and over and still get out of attacks. But before you go head over heels for this guy, be aware it has one massive bug associated with it. Sometimes the chains just refuse to latch onto enemies and do basically nothing. Aiming at different spots on bosses can make this happen, and if a little guy's moving whatsoever, it passes right through them. I really hope this is fixed as it hurts the mod, and if it is intentional, well, I have a few words for the devs. Even with this downside though, the thing is great. Learning how to latch it on correctly was sort of a cool experience, and I found that most bosses you need to aim at their center mass. Since it latches to up to 5 targets, you can clear lots of enemies at once. Overall, one of the more fun mods to mess with, and when it works correctly, a stronger option than most. For our last mod of the video, we have Voltaic Rondur, I believe it's called. This one spawns giant electric orbs. They move slowly across an area, shocking everything in their way. Manage to shoot the ball's center mass at least once, and it will overcharge, granting more damage. With an electric buffing setup, this will absolutely melt ads. In boss fights, I honestly think it is a waste though. Not useless, as it will deal good damage, but if bosses move at all, it's kinda hard to hit them. Now, where you do want to use Voltaic Ranger is in enclosed spaces. The dungeons on the route are a great example. Whenever you shoot one off, it's going to cover an entire hallway by itself, throwing on the Stone of Malevolence, and you can start popping these guys out over and over. My main issue here is that at that point, you might as well be using Enigma. I mean, it's more precise and in some cases actually more powerful as well. I would still recommend it as there are times when swarms are annoying to deal with. Firestorm kind of serves the same purpose if you want high damage and mod regen. Only difference is this one can't kill you. But overall, it's okay to kind of sleep on this one a bit, I guess. At least try spamming them once or twice as they last 20 seconds and after five are out, it's absolute chaos. So there are five mods that you should definitely try out. All of them except Voltaic Ranjur can provide a lot of value to a variety of builds. And Song of Afir is by far the highlight, being able to control entire maps worth of enemies instantly. Slow is a very useful tool in this game and luckily there are a variety of ways to apply it. If you did enjoy this video, a like would be awesome. And yeah, this game is super fun with all of the cool ways to change up builds. Weapon mods add a lot of variety to that and also they're just a lot of fun, which is the point. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.